Hello everyone, welcome back to Almost Reviews. Today we have this awesome piece. Play Art Sky from Nier Automata, Jorha Type A number two. It's a big box, as you can see, it had a rough tri trip from Japan, I don't know. Look at these details over here. Over here we have more details. But in general, the book, the box looks good. Everything is in Japanese, obviously. Square Enix products, online purchases. I don't know what's that. And here we have the proof of originality. So here we have it. When we open it, the first we have is this portrait of A2. Here we have her with two portraits. I don't know if there is more inside. What I don't like is when you look from down there. I mean, just look at this. I don't like it, but it doesn't seem to be a problem when you have her up front. So let's get going. My sworn nemesis, the tape. Okay, first thing that came out, it comes with a base, perfect, so we don't have to buy one like all of the Bandai products. Instructions to change the faceplate or the hairstyle, pretty much like an android also for the body. We can change the weights as, we, as I can see. Assembly of the weapon stand. Okay, we'll need this later. Let's flip it. No, yeah, it's okay like this. And here we have her. Play arts I actually get. I don't know what's the real difference between the play art sky, but well, straight up, I don't like this about the neck. Straight up, straight up. I mean, the neck looks like too tall, like too thick to for her head. I don't know. Like this, it's I don't like the neck, but otherwise, other things. The eyes look very good, like very well detailed. Let me change the light type. Articulations look good. I mean, it's like a kind of ratchet joints. Here we have a double joint for the elbow. The clothes are okay. We have, well, <laughs> they made sure to not, <laughs> not to get angry Yokotaro with the butt. Okay, ratchet for the legs. Also ratchet for split. It doesn't have a complete split, this figure. It sounds so rough, I mean, it's going to be uh, great for posing because look, also ratchet here. And a small joint, 360 joint here double joint for the knees hands the hands are not articulated but have a 360 and i think you can move them i don't want to break them because it looks like it has a ratchet but i don't know i don't want to break it that's it for this part i don't actually remember the name of the weapons of a2 but here we have the small weapon it looks very good painted, very good, very well detailed. Here we find something wrong with it. Small defects. I don't know if it's normal for a Play Art Sky. If any one of you has gotten one before, please tell me about this. The other portrait, same. 
very well detailed, the eyes, everything. Hair is not stiff, as you can see, just some parts. Here it's stiff, here's like a softer plastic, also the ends of it. Here we have the second waist for the Berserker mode. I remember it had more details in the game. We have these little circle auras that we get for the weapons, like when they're floating on the stand. Parts of the stand and the stand itself. Doesn't come with a lot of accessories. Okay, here we have two grabbing hands two open hands and well let's assemble the the stand, why not? we take this part out okay the stand has the Jorha logo there we go. Here it is. I don't know what's the difference between one stand and the other. This one is much harder. Okay. So it's practically two stands. I guess one is for the weapons and the other one is for the figure itself. So I'm going to assume the bigger one, because there are different sizes, is for the figure. So let's do this. But we need to use this one to hold her. I'm not a fan, you know, of these kind of stands. I mean it takes away some of the aesthetic, at least for me, I don't know what about, I don't know what you think. It's something like this. I'm going to see if I can actually set her without the stand, where I'm going to display. Okay, I just didn't know, I don't like how her feet look. I mean, they should be dirty, even if it's like her clothes or something, I mean, she's barefoot, she's been barefoot for a long time, I mean, not my not having maintenance or anything. Now let's build the other part of the stand. I mean, I tried to get this one off camera, but it's like too tight, everything. If this is the looks, the looks prime version, I don't want to see the normal one. I mean, it doesn't go all the way in, but we can see in the injection model that it should go all the way in. Let's see if we have better luck with the other with the other one. Nope. Yeah, better luck. And here we have them. But yeah, I mean if this is the deluxe version, I don't want to see the normal one. It doesn't look like very good to me. Now for the heavy weapon, looks better than the other one, I don't see any paint defects in this one, the hilt, it doesn't say how it should go, but with like we oh, can see it, nope, not this way boards tend to be pretty noisy like this and it doesn't go more in so this one should go here I don't know how it doesn't even fit you know like I, again I mean this, this is a premium version that looks look it doesn't even fit for real So, 
think of this way if you're going to get this one. I mean, I'm really not liking it. It says like this part should be like this and the sword, yeah, just like this. And look at how deformed is this. I mean, completely deformed. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but look, it's completely deformed. So it's going to take a while, maybe some heat to make it go in like properly. I don't want to scratch the paint. No, I'm, I'm getting completely let down by Square Enix in this figure, like completely let down. Starting with when I saw that this about the neck to the, all, of, all of the other things, I'm getting completely let down. Okay, let's see how we can change the waist. Let's just pull it, but I don't want to break it. There we go. Here it seems like I it has a ball joint in the so I don't wanna. There we go. So I think this is the front. Doesn't look that good. A big problem to change parts. Look, maybe, maybe uh, you, you can see not going all the way in. Not what I was expecting for the price and the advertisements about Player Sky, about everything they are. Maybe if I force it, I can make it better, but I will show you in the pictures. Look at this, at the hips. They're getting in, so. Nope, well, looks better now. I took the chance to move the camera from the angle, but well, it looks good from, from this angle with the lightning. I mean, if we take it like this, it looks good. But when you're watching her, like from the front, like when she's facing you, I don't like that thick neck. And it's the first time I get a figure that I need a stand like this one. It's the first time ever I use these ones. I don't know if she can stand by herself. I haven't tried it. Oh, sorry. But, well, I'm very disappointed on this play art sky. Also, I, I think it's going to be hard. The legs to the back, it's very hard to make them, so. Also for the poses or something. <clears throat> I don't know if you have any tips for the stand, because I really don't like this thing. I. 100% I'm disliking it. I mean, it takes away the aesthetic of the figure. I prefer like the Figma stands that go from the back and that's it. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the hands. So according to instructions, when you're going to use this one, you have to take it off. Get it through the hand. Again, look, the hand is not even matched and it's very hard plastic, so I don't want to break anything. Oh well, she cannot hold the massive sword by herself. Look, I don't read, I hate, I'm hating this. The wrist cannot hold, neither the complete arm. Maybe a guts style. Yeah. It actually works. If you set her up like a guts sword, Dragon Slayer, 
I guess this other is going to be easier on the other hand. But as I tell you, it's very hard plastic, so be careful with it. Don't break it. Actually, look. Fingers are already twisted. But well. <clears throat> this one is perfect, doesn't fall off. Oh, look, you can actually take this part out to make it easier on you instead of having problems with the hilt. But I don't know how to get it back again. It has to slide here, but again, it's another one of those poorly made parts. I mean, you can see here we got a lot of excess plastic. I was thinking of getting near apart from A2 and 2B, but I'm not, I'm thinking it twice now. Like completely thinking it twice to get any other player at Sky ever. Maybe 2B can make me change my opinion, but I think it's going to be hard. Well. Nope. Changing hands. To this one. Let's see, to change the head, I haven't shown you that. Kind of easy, I told you, it's like a Figma. And to change the complete head. Be careful with this. Okay, you pop it up, pop it up. And it's here. Okay, there we go. Okay, this like looks far better. This this head look, this portrait, or maybe it's that the other one was wasn't that tight. I don't know. But yeah, this portrait makes it far better from what I was complaining about. It's sad. I'm going to try to. I'm going to see if I can make it with this with this hair because I love a two with long hair. But well, in general, this is like the complete status of the figure overall, all the accessories and everything. I'm going to try to hit some poses and the says comparisons. See you in a while. And I told you this view was big, but 10 inches tall, almost there. Here we have Zero Two, an android, she looks really small. Here we have Homura with a very tall base and dress, and she looks small also. Here we have a Wulo cushion, which is kind of big, and it's almost the size of this figure. Then we have Gurren Lagann and the Yorha Flight unit, which is not even as tall as this one, including the base. So, as I told you, this is a really big figure. And here we are at my shot of a close-up video. As you can see, there's I don't like the feet. Let me paint on the feet. Uh, as we go forward, we get a lot of some small stains. But in general, the figure looks good. I like this pose. This pose goes on the game. And well, here you can see a problem um, on the waist that I don't like. And I swear I'm getting a spinning plate sooner or later, guys. Sooner or later, I'll get it. Look uh, from the back, and we got the same problem that I'm having with this waist part. I don't like how it looks with the top part. Now, here we have another big problem. That for me, this was a big quality problem. Look at the excess plastic that we have under the armpits. 
for the right arm is far worse than the left one. I mean, take a look at it, but I don't like it. And the other thing that I was telling you is about the problem with the waist part for the Berserker mode. I don't like it. For this play, I'm going to use the standard version. And I notice if you get the claw on the hips, it looks far less than obtrusive to the view. And you can actually kind of ankle it there for some dynamic poses like the one I'm about to show you. Like, look at this pose. The base is like really rigid enough to take on it. And as I was telling you, if you get a dynamic pose, you're gonna be the seeing that excess plastic. Like, you're gonna see it unless you sand it. I don't know if you're good at sanding or something. Or you go for a far less dynamic pose, the, like the one here. Like, you don't get all of those problems. If you change the waist, there is no problem with the spinning. And look at this one. I managed to get some poses without the base, but be careful with the ankles because that joint is kind of easy to move. So if you get extra pressure, the ankle is going to move. Uh, well, this is all for today's video, guys. I, I really, I'm really disappointed with this figure, not what I was expecting, as I've been telling you for the entire video, but next week I'm going to show you 2B, which is a huge improvement from this one. I like it far better and I hope you look forward to that video. See you guys next week.